that all is well with our spirits. And, uh, definitely want to offer an apology if I have been out of context. Is that Queen? Okay, good. <laughs> and I, I, if I don't have anything else, I have respect for my elders and even more so the Most High and, and, and His people. So I have to make sure that we're always on, on, on that, that, that positive accord. Um, I'm going to introduce someone that uh, we should have more more like him within this nation. Um, when I when I think about the journey that he he has had, and even my Isha um, Kokavia, and that they shared something that's common that that will we'll probably move your spirit. Um, they they were part of something called the Israelite Institute um, years and years ago when they were in their youth. Um, communities that were set up that we actually lived in. We had our schools. We did a whole bunch of things, and the one thing that this brother and, and my Isha also had in common, I remember my Isha said when she moved to Guyana, South America at a very young age, her father had them strictly speak Hebrew. When she came back to the States, he had to relearn English. When they tried to put him in the public school system, it was like they had to, they had to, they had to learn how to be <laughs> like everyone else is right now. Um, and, and this brother was the same way. His, his father made sure that that was what they spoke in, the, in, in their house. And they're very, him and his brothers, they're, they're very fluent in this language. And in our return, that's something that we definitely have to get ourselves back acclimated with because, you know, it, it helps bring us closer into scripture. Because, I mean, with all the different transliterations and the different understandings, if you don't know Ivrit to the core, there's so many things that you're going to miss. There's so many things that you're going to understand one way, and it's completely not that way. So, you know, I, I, I look back at, you know, me coming into this understanding has been a little over 20 years. And I, I think that it was on my behalf, I think they created that the family I married into is kind of like one of the core families within this nation. I married into a Levitical family, though I did not have any clue what that meant. 20 years ago, um, I mean, I even had my firstborn son, I was able to, at a temple called Beni Adat, bring forth some shekels for my son as it represented an understanding. These are memor memorializations. These are things that our foreparents did. So when you practice these things, it gives you a better alignment with your spirit and that which the Creator has on record for us as a nation of people. So it's... it's, it's <laughs> It's a, it's a good thing, and it's definitely my honor that I want to bring forth my brother, and I, and I thank the Most High once again that he allowed him to have safe travels, and he's got a little bit more travel to do before it's all said and done, but the Most High is with him, and um, will bless and keep him. So without further ado, I'm going to bring up my brother, Maury Yaya. Hallelujah. <laughs> giving thanks, praises, honor, glory, respect, loyalty, and allegiance to the true and living power of our forefathers of Abraham, Yitzchak, and Israel. I bid to you, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat shalom. Uh, uh, it's a good thing to be here. God. I really saw a little, a few months ago I told myself I'm going to come because that it's been a while he's been down here. This is my first time here, and um, I love the energy here. I love the brotherhood, the camaraderie, and um, the fact that unity is on the is at the foundation. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, just giving thanks to the Most High for allowing me and my family to travel safely, and uh, for you to get here to give thanks and praises to His name, because this is uh, a law. You know, mm -hmm. it's a law to give thanks and praise to the Most High God, even on a Shabbat day. So you should be glad and rejoice in it. Got it. You know, it's not a somber day. It's <laughs> a day to give thanks <laughs> and be happy. Hallelujah. Right? Right. Amen. Right. Um, and as he said, um, you know, my father uh, recently passed away. Um, the language is of the utmost importance. That was one of the primary things. Um, I didn't begin to learn English until I was, you know, learn English formally. 
to about till I was about seven years old. Um, you know, of course, we spoke with people around us, but formally, we didn't learn English until I, until I was about seven years old. Um, and I do the same thing with my, my young ones as well. It's important for us to return to this language because that's where the clarity is. That's where you're going to, all of those spots and all of those points that I'm missing in the English translation, you will always find the clarity in our language. You have people who say, you know, well, you know, that's not the original text. It, what they're doing is just like everybody else do. They just took what it said and with the ancient letters and put it with the new letters. It's the same translation. The Most High is not going to allow them to alter his word because the Most High left these things on record for us to find. Okay. It's supposed to bring clarity. It's supposed to be there for us. That was like leaving breadcrumbs for somebody that's lost or a lamp, you know, a light in the dark for somebody to come and find it. So trust and believe that the Most High will not allow them, no matter how hard they try. Now they tried because they didn't even want you reading the book, first off. They didn't want you to read it. And when they began to teach you again, they did not start re teaching you from the from the beginning of the book. That's right. Say that. So you have to be able to understand and say, ask yourself, well, why don't they want us to read this? Why are they considering this old? There's nothing old about this. The Most High is forever. That's right. <laughs> you know, the Most High is the one that created time, which means what? <laughs> that he's not bound by time. That's right. A power that is eternal. And that's something that we can't really understand. They mm. said that this galaxy that we're in is currently hurling through space at an exponential amount of time for that at, at a speed we cannot even understand. Mm. Space. We have to begin to teach our children these things and not just by speaking it to them. There's a part in Deuteronomy where it says, you shall, he said, she nine time That means you need to make them sharp in this. Make sure that they are sharp in this so that when they go out, they are prepared for whatever is out there. Can I say that? We have to remember this. It says, and you shall love your, your God. And that wasn't a suggestion. And the way that you can love Yah. Now, let's think about it. How do we show that we love the Most High? The, the, will the Most High benefit from us saying that we love Him or doing any, Does any of this stuff that we're doing, is it going to benefit the Most High? Absolutely yeah. not. Who is it going to benefit? Mm -hmm. Us. Mm -hmm. The person sitting right next to you. That's why it's important to really process this information. It's important for us to once again remember the laws that says love your brother like you love yourself. Yeah. To, to teach it to your children when you wake up in the morning, when you go along the way, and when you go to sleep at night. Come on, right. Wear it for signs on your hand and front this between your eyes. These things were not suggestions. We have to remember these things. And we have to stop putting feeling where the Torah is already established. Amen. The Most High didn't care Amen. anything to say anything about, well, if you didn't feel like this law was good enough for you, Come on. you could stop. Come on, Come on. Oh, oh, omit it. Come on. Yes, Come on. That's right. Make it real. It's important for us to live it. It's important for us to establish a proper foundation for our children because in these days and time, you got things that they are facing every single day that in our way of life, it would not even be in existence All if right. we were living a righteous way. Extinguished from in the midst of us. That's what the Most High God said. You have them coming in contact with their teachers who may be homosexuals. Right, that's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Students, their peers, mm -hmm. homosexuals. Yes, Students who are on all types of drugs and they make it cool. They put it in the song. Mm -hmm. And they're 
influenced by these people. They make suicide something cool. They sing about this song. Oh, now. Make you realize this is what they say. That's right. They that's sing that there's a song that the guys sing about suicide. That's right. And it's cool. Right. We have to be vigilant. And we have to be mindful of the things that we are facing because if our children are experiencing these things, we are. If we do not strengthen them in this law, and how can you strengthen them? You have to walk it. They have to see you living it. They cannot see you just speaking about it. You have people who just talk about it. They don't live it every day. We have to be mindful. And we have to make sure that the things that we do gives glory to the Most High. That's what I would like. That's what we are supposed to do. That's why we walk around with names that give glory to the Most High. The name Yisrael gives glory to the Most High. We have to remember these things. And they are not light. Because the things that you do, and you as a, rep as a representative of this way of life, for someone who don't know, how can you be a, a lamp? Right? It has to be yeah, dark a little bit, right? That's yeah. mm -hmm. a little dark. How are you going to be a lamp to the nations? Mm -hmm. The nations are in the dark. That's because that's how you're going to be a, a lamp to the nations. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, when you walk and you are a representative of this way of life, everything that you do is on a... Is on a mat in a magnifying glass. Mm -hmm. Believe that. Come on. Mm -hmm. And when you mis misrepresent this way, and you misrepresent this God, you are playing with something that you may not get out of. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like, but it's a privilege. You have to understand that we, we have been granted the opportunity to call on the name mm. of the power oh, yeah. that created everything that we know yeah. and everything that we don't know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We can't walk around arrogant like we earned this. Come on. <laughs> we didn't earn this. Come on. That's why we're here in America. And we can walk out there and see all type of stuff that is literally an abomination. But the fact that we're here. The fact that we're able to call on the name of the Most High God again is a testament to His perfection. Mm. It's a testament to His promise that He made with our forefathers that yeah. said, as long as this the, star, the stars and the moon, I'm going to make sure that you have a lineage. Oh. It's, not, it's not because of something that we did. Because if it was according to our actions, <laughs> Where will we be? Come on. Come on. We always try to outdo the nations. All the time. From even from, from the back of the day, Molech, what they did? They used to pass their kids through the fire. What did the Hebrews do? Throw the kid in the fire. Right. Look, we did it better. It's what we do. But you know what that also shows? We have the ability to be the greatest people on the face of this earth. Say that, y'all. Everything that we do, we do it the best. Everything. Who does it better than us? Name a person. Name a people. Not one. <laughs> there are people who are extinct now. No longer exist. I'm talking about entire nations. Yeah. That have not gone through as much as we have. But yet, we're still here. Hallelujah. <laughs> that can only be the hand of this true and living power. Mm -hmm. We have to represent. We have to be mindful. We have to uh, pray and, and, and do something that's called keep uh, boning to meditate. We have to meditate on this law. It's that day and night, right? That's right. right. People think that meditating means just read it. I read, I read a song today. That's not meditation. That's right. 
when you read the book, that's not meditation. That's reading it. Meditation is going within yourself and processing what you read. Processing the things that you've experienced. Processing all of these things that the Most High has revealed to us once again. Sometimes when we get this information, we get pompous, like we've accomplished something. And it should be all about humility. It should be all about humility. The Most High God has put us through these things, and His Word remains. Deuteronomy 28 said, "These, This promise that I'm making is for you that's here, and you that are not here today. That means... Whether you accepted it or not, you are still bound by it. Come on. Come on, that's right. <laughs> Can't give away. You got people say, well, I don't, I don't, I don't do the Lord no more. What? Hmm. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't do that anymore. Still got it. Hmm. Doesn't matter. <laughs> You're still bound by the Lord. Come on. Mm -hmm. You have to walk with a, a heart of humility and understanding. Be loving to one another, genuinely, once again. Not this surface stuff. Mm -hmm. We have to go within ourselves and love one another. Teach one another. When we see somebody going wrong, don't talk about them. Don't just talk about it. Don't tell somebody else. Tell them. Pull them to the side. Let's be genuine once again and represent this way in a proper manner. Mm -hmm. Return to our language. That's of the utmost importance. A people without a language is not a people. Mm -hmm. Just think about it. If you knew a Chinese man that did not speak Chinese, that would be odd to you, correct? It's good. How don't you, why don't you speak Chinese? Mm -hmm. What's the language of, of, of Hebrews? Hebrew. <laughs> that should give you a desire to learn. Start from anywhere. You're not going to start out speaking fluently. Learn the alphabet. Because there are things that cannot be explained in English, if you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. There are things in that Torah, in that book, that cannot be explained to, in its entirety in English. It does not translate properly. We have to, our, our safety in these, in these troubled times is this foundation here. That is the only way out. Think about it. What other way do we have? We can get all the guns we want. We can get all of the people together. What can we can't do it? We can't do a thing against this enemy. People have all all types of ideas. Are we gonna load up on ammunition? We're gonna get a box of ammunition every week and come up. What is that gonna do? What is that gonna do? He has drones. He don't even have to put himself out there. He will send a robot in your neighborhood and to kill everybody. They have bombs that can kill everybody in the city without dropping a brick. It says our help is in the name of Yah. You made heaven and earth, right? Right, right. Absolutely. Not in the name of AK-47. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. And we we have to be a trustworthy. We have to trust in Yah. You see, we we have people, and um, you know, maybe it's something from Christianity. I don't know, but you know, you have people who. They don't really, if you speak to them, you could tell that they really don't believe in this word. It's, it's impossible for you to believe in this word and you behave in certain manner. Like, it's impossible. 
There is no way that you can believe the stuff that you read when you come out and you pray and the things that you're supposed to do every day and you say that you believe in Yah and you do the things that you do. It's impossible. Come on. Come on. Insanity. When you trust in Yah and when you move in a way that displays that you trust in Yah. There will be nothing that says no weapon formed against you. That means that no bombs, nothing. So what, you, what, we, what we attempt to do is think on a human level. You know, how, how, we go, how, we, how are we going to get saved out of this? How are we going to get saved out of this? But when you begin to understand that your, your Savior, the only Savior, is Yah. Everything is possible. There's nothing that a man can do. No collective group that can reverse a, a, a decree that the Most High sent. Damn. The Most High said, I sent forth my name and it does wonders. Mm -hmm. I sent my name. Mm -hmm. I sent forth my name and it does what I commanded it to do. I sent forth words, my praise, my honor. These are attributes. It's not even the Most High. Mm -hmm. <laughs> said, I will command the heavens to give forth the rain and the latter rain. I'm going to command the earth to give forth fruit and trees. <clears throat> Which means that what? If the Mosad can command it to give forth, the Mosad can command it to stop. We're not dealing with man here. We have to be grateful. For this opportunity. This is a great opportunity that we have. And it should not be taken lightly. We should remember and live a life that will show gratitude. That's what it's about. That is what will allow us to return. A proper return. When we love each other in a proper manner. Because if you look at the law, it was basically on how we deal with each other. There's nothing that you can do that can make the most high greater. None. Come on. You're praised, you're dancing, and you can say you've done all of these things. It has nothing. You can serve the most high none. No good. has to be about how we love one another, how we treat one another, even how we treated animals in the land. All of these, all of these things was going to make, is going to be for our benefit. <laughs> so we have to listen. Don't let it be routine to hear these words. Process it. So that we can, it's for us to get better. There is no way you, you're going to read this book one time and then you just have it down pat. You don't ever have to hear it again. Every time you listen to it, I can guarantee if you're listening, you will get something new out of it every year. Every single time. The, the book is alive. The word, is, if the word was inspired by the true and living God. We have to remember these things, and we have to, please, we have to remember that everything that we do is to give glory to the Most High. You have to ask a question about it, don't do it. Simple. Morality. You have to be clean. 
You look at these laws, most of the time, wash your hands, you be clean. It was right. a whole lot of washing going on. <laughs> Just You're not, you're not, you wasn't supposed to be a dirty, messy, nasty people. Come on, bro. And definitely not dirty and nasty to each other. We have to reteach our children. Reteach them. Because they are the foundation. They are the next generation. And if they don't get it, there's a good chance that your lineage will not continue. Is that something that you want? No. You want to make sure that you teach them. And you set the example. Because whether they understand it now, it's not important. I had something like that happen the other day. Son did co something contrary. Not asking, what did I teach you about this, this, and that? No, I didn't even say what I, what I told him. I said, what did I teach you? He ran them off. Mm -hmm. And what did I say about this? Ran it off. Mm -hmm. What did I say about this? Ran it off. Okay, told out y'all, because that tells me that I did, did my job. Yeah. Why aren't you doing yeah. yours? Come mm -hmm. on, that's right. Just uh -huh. like that. Uh -huh. You have to remember these things. They won't forget it. And, um, you know, my Abba. <laughs> Listen, English was not allowed in the house. If, and you know, we, we went to the Israelite Institute and um, it closed down. So we had to go to public school. Listen, when you cross that threshold of that, in that house, <laughs> you were to turn it from English to Hebrew. That's it. And if he caught you speaking English, it was literally serious consequences. <laughs> <laughs> serious. <laughs> You know, and at the time, we didn't understand, like, man, like, you know, we learned it, you know, we can't. And now, you know, one of, one of the few families, is, you know, we're one of the few families who still have it like that. We didn't see it. We didn't understand it back then. You think he cared? I remember him saying, I don't care. <laughs> but now, as a grown man, you're able to apply these things. You can go and literally have a conversation and like, well, how did you know that? Where'd you learn from? Mm. Yeah. And it's not to impress them, but when they see that you're speaking it, mm -hmm. it lets them know, obvious, especially as you, if you're speaking a certain dialect. See, when you have Ashkenazi and you have Sephardi, you have different dialects, but most of the, what my father spoke, and I, I learned both, I learned all of those. I learned the Ashkenazi, I learned the way Sephardi speak, but my father spoke biblical Hebrew. So now when you speak and you use, use certain words, it's like, wow, they know you can only get that information from one place, one source. Uh -huh. Come on. And what does that mean for them? The jig is up. <laughs> <laughs> it's up. I know who I am. They show you respect. I mean, does their respect really matter? No. But you represent Yah. Yes, you're a true Hebrew. Why? Because you're not just saying that you're a Hebrew. You're actually using the language. That's important. You need to use it. You need to make it something that we do daily. Just little parts. A couple minutes a day. Ten minutes. 10 minutes that you'll be surprised how far you get in a year. 10 minutes. If you, all you know how to do is read, just pick up the book and read for a little, a little while. If all you know is your alphabet, do that for a little while. You need to be able to represent this properly. Not just look the part. When we walk, like I said, we are representing the true and living power. And we have to make sure that what we represent and how we represent shows morality, respect, and honor. I mean, this don't just go for anybody. I mean, if somebody disrespect you, okay, that's something different. But you're supposed to show respect all the way around the board. Man. You know, it, it doesn't, it said respect the hoary hair, right? It didn't say, 
only if they were Hebrews? Mm-hmm. Would you think you was going to only run into Hebrews? You in the market, you're doing different type of thing. But it doesn't, be, doesn't say that because he's a Chinese elder, I don't got to respect him. That does not make sense. That's not morally correct. And it's not righteousness. Come on. The word for to be dedicated also is the same word to mean holy. You understand? Mm -hmm. To be dedicated means you are holy. It's the same root word. We have to remember these things and we have to apply them daily. No, we're not perfect. But you have to be actively, actively getting better. Actively refining yourself. Because if that's not important, the, this, this way of life is not secondary. It's not like, I got to go to work, and I got to do this, and I got to do this, and the Torah is on the side here. Right. This is secondary. Right. This is not secondary. I'm going to make it real. That's what we do. We put, we put, we cannot put anything before this. Your job don't matter what. You need to come in on. They, they try it with me, and I'm, I'm in North Carolina. I work around nothing but they call themselves this. So I hope it's rednecks. Damn. <laughs> you know what they do? Well, you're gonna have to come in on. Yeah, no, I'm not coming. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. Come on. I'm telling you, if you don't. Everybody has to be coming in. Okay, well, I won't be coming in, though. <laughs> Tell me, if everybody does not come in, there will be something, and I've been at the same job for going on six years. <laughs> come on. Don't move. Mm-hmm. If, that, if you lose that job, there's something else. Yeah. Start your own business. Ooh, maybe it turn out even better for you. We have to be constantly refining ourselves and our spirit to align with our duty. I give thanks to the Most High God. I hope you got something out of uh, what I spoke about. I hope that uh, you know it's, there's something that I spoke about that you can add to anything to, to, that you can remember to make you a little better. I give thanks to the Most High God for all things and everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.